Hello, am I audible now? Yes, uh, Dilip. Now you are audible. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, yeah, sir. Yeah, sure. Dilip. Yeah. yeah. How are you? How is life going? Yeah. Uh, don't ask. Don't ask because because of this lockdown, <laughs> I am I am staying alone in a flat since last one and a half month. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not going outside. That's that's the uh, main issue right now. So I couldn't manage to go to my hometown as well. That's why. Right. Have to move now because if you move, then the, there will be huge chance of contamination. Anyway, yeah. uh, correct, correct. That's the main reason I am not going anywhere right now. Okay. Uh, Dilip, yeah. Can you please uh, introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. My name is Dilip Kumar Jaina, and mm -hmm. I've done my Master of Computer Application in 2015. And after that, I joined one company that is called Greenman Software Solution as an ABAP trainee. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked in that organization around uh, 3.5 years. And uh, most of the uh, SAP uh, SAP ABAP components I've worked with there. Uh, for example, RISEF report interface uh, forms. And uh, after 3.5 years, I joined a new company that is called Dow Centric Technology Private Limited. Uh, uh, in this company, I'm working right currently. And here, uh, I've done the major project uh, uh, with Unilever. Asian paints and currently I'm in a project uh, I'm working with SMRT Singapore so uh, let me tell you about this project so this project is basically an integration project uh, they are using three different systems uh, that is called as uh, one is third one is Maximo uh, let me tell you as Ariba is a SAP SAP uh, product and Maximo is a IBM product so they are using this system like uh, some some part of the project they are uh, executing in SAP system, some part of uh, the project they are executing in Ariba, and some part in Maximo. And all the three systems will be integrated with each other through our configuration. So this project is uh, uh, started around one and a half month back. And my major role in this project as an uh, SAP ABAP consultant, as well as integration consultant. Uh, okay, uh, Dilip, uh, can you tell me what is SAP ABP ABAP? SAP, yeah, SAP ABAP. See, uh, like every other uh, ERP solution, SAP has its own programming language that is called ABAP, ABAP, that is Advanced Business Application Programming. So, all the developments within SAP, whatever you want to do, you have to do with ABAP development only. So, basically, my role is ABAP consultant. Do you know what is what is mean by ABAP data dictionary? Yeah, data dictionaries uh, we used uh, uh, for creating tables, creating structures, and uh, 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 for creating views. Those, those kind of objects we can create uh, within data dictionary. Okay, good. Uh, can you uh, describe the data classes? Data classes. Sorry. Data classes. Can you data classes? Yes. Okay. Correct, 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 correct. The data classes. Uh, uh, see, we we can we can use. Uh, uh, okay, one more thing. Are you asking uh, data classes in terms of uh, object oriented or in terms of ABAP only? Or plain uh, core ABAP only. Only just just mention the uh, the different type type of data, like there are master data like this. You just okay, okay, okay. Data class. Okay, in terms of. Correct. And uh, now I got your questions. Okay, so there are uh, different kind of data. That is, uh, master data, transaction data. So let me tell you the difference between uh, between those. Master data is something which uh, we cannot uh, uh, update or we cannot uh, change very frequently. And the transaction data is something which which we can uh, uh, update very frequently. For example, uh, let me uh, let me take a very very uh, simple example for uh, our bank details. So if I am having any any account in some details, so my number, uh, my name, my uh, address, that will be master data because uh, we are not changing that very frequently. But all day by day transactions, whatever I am doing, those all data comes in the transaction data. Uh, can you mention what is ALP, ALP programming in ABAP? Uh, ALE. ALP programming in ABAP. ALB. Okay, okay. ALB. ALB is something which we used for representation of data. Uh, 
representation of any kind of report that uh, in that section we used alb alb basically used for reporting when basically this grid is used in abap uh, this is just for data data representation nothing else okay uh, when do you do we use end of selection end of selection um, uh, uh, end of selection in in a report only we used end of selection and uh, uh, end of selection we are we used for uh, uh, when we when we use uh, uh, any any kind of parameter uh, uh, input parameters we have to give so uh, concluding those uh, those section we have to use end of selection okay what is table buffer do you have an idea what is table buffer table buffer sorry sir i am i have no idea about that you you have no idea okay what is the use of pretty line printer pretty printer what is the use of pretty yeah, pretty pretty uh i i uh, uh, didn't uh, didn't use very frequently but only a place i used pretty printer in when we are writing code in se38 so in that uh, for writing in a in a um, correct manner we used pretty printer hey, can you tell me what this is the only use i have done till now okay uh, do you know what is lock object lock yeah lock object is something which it, it uh, comes under uh, uh, data dictionary as uh, 11 and lock object is something uh, with the help of lock object we can we can restrict any object from few user or few sections so in for this uh, for this purpose we used lock objects there are basically two function modules one is nq and one is dq nq is uh, for locking any object and dq is for unlocking that particular object Okay, uh, Dilip, can you tell me some soft skill that is essential for SAP consultant? SAP consultant, uh, whether it is uh, functional consultant or technical. Uh, technical. Technical. So, so the basic technical uh, uh, capabilities which should have any ABAP cons uh, any SAP consultant is. abap programming because abap is the uh, uh, abap is the uh, main technical uh, module of sap so if 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 you want to go for technical uh, capabilities of sap consultant then abap is must and in in within abap there are three three different section one is core abap one is uh, uh, cross applications and the third one is uh, uh, object oriented abap so the basic so the most basic thing in abap is core abap which includes reports data dictionary and smart forms and uh, module tool uh, bdc this kind of topics uh, someone should have if he want to go uh, for technical capabilities in abap in sap basically my question was what kind of soft skills like communications like uh, okay okay <laughs> I, i actually yeah, i went uh, inside to technical things okay <laughs> okay uh, soft skills uh, basically they they should know how to how to communicate with functional consultant they should they should read the functional specification perfectly and they sh they should be they should be capable to create the technical specs in terms of any 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 kind of development and uh, and and the, and the basic communication uh, that that i can say is this required for technical consultant Okay. What are uh, different types of parameters? Can you distinguish between parameters it? in? Yes. Okay. Tell me about the functional uh, parameters. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, if I I'll choose a function module as, as an object, then there are different parameters. Uh, as I told, or the one is import parameter, export parameter. Okay. Let me tell you the difference about the difference in between those two parameters. Import parameter is something which, while executing any function module, when I what I am giving uh, to the system, that is that is called import parameter. while executing it will become become export export parameter because i am giving something to my system for execution so export parameters is something which i am expecting from the system after execution so uh, uh, while executing 
it will pick up the import parameter because uh, when i am getting the output it is getting something so this is export parameter after that import um, after, after import and export parameter there are table table parameters if i am using any table in my function module so that particular table uh, comes under the table parameters apart from that uh, uh, yeah pass by value is also a parameter because every uh, every each and every object which i am using in function module it should be pass by uh, value not pass by reference and the last one i can say it is uh, source code source code is the uh, most basic parameter of the function module okay thank you so uh, probably this is my last question how uh, data is stored okay. in cluster table uh, data is stored in cluster table cluster table cluster uh, master table you are asked, correct master master table so there are yeah yeah there are there are uh, different different kind of tables in in sap some are master tables for example uh, uh, mara that is metal master dilip uh, kna1 is the, sorry dilip yes question is what is how data is stored in cluster table cluster C cluster table okay 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 cluster table i thought master table <laughs> this cluster table Hmm. okay cluster table is something uh, uh, we we are saving data in in the uh, row and uh, column manner in in sap okay every table whether it is a master table cluster table or transparent table the data data will save in the same manner as a row. because if i am talking about the hana then there there is no row row uh, row uh, uh, fashion uh, saving the data but If I'm talking about the SAP system, then it will be a row and column based approach. Uh, okay, Dilip, thank you so much for uh, joining this session. So, as you know, this is a very, uh, primary stage of this recruitment process. Uh, the video will okay. be shared with the concerned company, and uh, if you are short people, sure. then uh, contact you immediately. Okay, so thank you so much again. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.